Hello, this is Tom, and I have put together a project for you to test your CNC lathe programming skills. This project covers most of the material that I've covered in the previous videos, and the purpose of this video is that you handwrite a CNC lathe program that will produce this shape. So, first of all, let's take a look at the part dimensions, and then I'll go over a process plan. All right, so here we're looking at the dimensions of the part. We're going to start off with a piece of raw material that is 1 inch 750 in diameter. And you can see it's 2.5 inches overall length. And the largest diameter left on the part is going to be in this inch and a half. On the front, we're going to have a 3 h 24 thread. And then the part shape just kind of grows from front to rear. So we're going to start off by rough facing then rough turning, finish turning, grooving, and threading. So let's take a closer look at that process plan. All right, so here is the order of the operations that you're going to be using in your CNC lathe program. All right, just going to start off with a rough turn tool, and we're going to use a G72 can cycle to rough the face. Then that same turn tool is going to rough the OD using a G71 can cycle. Then you're going to make a tool change to finish the face using a G70 finish cycle. And that same finish tool is going to finish the OD using a G70 finish cycle. Then you're going to make a tool change to a groove tool and we're going to groove the thread relief. And then you make a final tool change to do the threading using a G76 can cycle. So let's take a look at the G72 parameters to do the rough facing. Alright, so here you're looking at the G72 can cycle parameters that I'd like you to use. We're going to be removing 50 thousandths of the face using 20 thousandths depth of cut. We're going to leave 5 thousandths for a finish pass and don't forget to use the G96 constant service speed with a surface foot of 400. We're going to limit the spindle speed to 3000 RPM and the tool nose radius is going to be 30 thousandths. So these numbers will help you format your program and format your CAN cycle. So let's take a look at the G71 parameters. Alright, so here are some of the parameters to help you write the G71 CAN cycle. We're going to start off with a stock diameter of 1 inch 750 and we're going to remove a hundred thousandths off the diameter per pass. We're going to leave 30 thousandths on the OD for a finish pass in X axis and we're going to leave 10 thousandths on all the faces in the Z axis. Again you're going to be using the G96 constant service speed with 400 service feet per minute and go ahead and limit your spindle to 3000 RPM. Alright, for the thread relief we're just going to write some manual code. We're not going to use a can cycle. We're going to wrap it into position, feed to the diameter that we're going to be grooving, and then wrap it back out. The tool width is 125 thousandths wide. We're going to use a G97 fixed spindle speed, and we're going to use a spindle speed of 2000 RPM. All right, and then last but not least, here are some parameters to use in your G76 threading can cycle. I'd like to see you do two spring passes at the full depth and use 30 degree in feed angle. We're going to use 2000 depth per pass and 1000 depth of cut on the last pass. And go ahead and use a G97 fixed spindle speed of 400 service feet per minute. Alright, so the intent of this exercise is that you write a complete program that you can actually load up into a CNC lathe control and actually run. So make sure that you turn on your spindle, you turn on your coolant, you turn them off at the end of each operation, you go to a safe position to make your tool change and make sure that your format is very accurate. In one of the next videos I'm going to show you how I would have written that program and we'll go in detail for all the parameters used in the CAN cycles and that way you'll have something to compare it to. So good luck, I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.